To whom should Eliza reply in her distress but to the friend that loves her? Why then, my dear, do you apologise for employing me? Yorick would be offended, and with reason, if you ever sent commissions to another which he could execute. I have been with Zumps, and first your pianoforte must be tuned from the brass middle string of your guitar, which is C. I've got you a hammer too and a pair of pliers to twist your wire with, and may every one of them, my dear, vibrate sweet comfort to thy hopes. I have bought you ten handsome brass screws to hang your necessaries upon. I purchased twelve, but stole a couple from you, to put up in my own cabin at Coxwold. I shall never hang or take my hat off one of them, but I shall think of you. I have bought thee, moreover, a couple of iron screws, which are more to be depended on than brass, for the globe. I have wrote also to Mr. Abram Walker, pilot at Deal, to acquaint him that I had dispatched these in a packet directed to his care, which I desired he would seek after the moment the Deal machine arrives. I have moreover given directions to him what sort of an armchair you would want, and have directed him to purchase the best that Deal could afford and to take it with the parcel in the first boat that went off. Would I could, Eliza, thus supply all thy wants and all thy wishes, it would be a state of happiness to me. The journal is as it should be, all but its contents. Poor dear patient being, I do more than pity you, for I think I lose both firmness and philosophy as I figure to myself your distresses. Do not think I spoke last night with too much asperity of... There was a cause, and besides, a good heart ought not to love a bad one, and indeed cannot, but adieu to the ungrateful subject. I have been this morning to see Mrs. James. She loves thee tenderly and unfeignedly. She is alarmed for thee. She says thou lookest most ill and melancholy on going away. She pities thee. I shall visit her every Sunday while I am in town. As this may be my last letter, I earnestly bid thee farewell. May the God of kindness be kind to thee, and approve himself thy protector, now thou art defenceless. And for thy daily comfort bear in mind this truth, that whatever measure of sorrow and distress is thy portion, it will be repaid to thee in a full measure of happiness by the being thou hast wisely chosen for thy eternal friend. Farewell, farewell, Eliza while I live count upon me as the most disinterested and warm of earthly friends. Yorick. <laughs>